Transfer the limestone to the reclaim hopper. The limestone which is transferred to the hopper is sent to the limestone silo through the bucket elevator after pre-crushed by the limestone pre-crusher after passing the vibration feeder. Limestone of the silo is transferred to the whey feeder and sent to the mill outlet tank after being crushed by the wet ball mill. The limestone slurry, which is gathered at the mill outlet tank, is sent to the mill hydroclone. The limestone slurry which passes through the 325 mesh filter at the mill hydroclone is sent to the limestone slurry storage tank. The limestones which are bigger than the standard are sent to the wet ball mill and re-crushed. The limestone which is stored at the limestone slurry storage tank is transferred to the limestone slurry feed tank. The limestone slurry of the limestone slurry feed tank is supplied to the absorption tower. The limestone slurry which is supplied to the absorption tower is transferred to the spray header pipe by the recirculation pump for smooth gas liquid touch. Transferred limestone slurry is sprayed to the floor from the two nozzles of participal layer which are facing the floors of the absorption tower. Slurry falls rapidly in the opposite way of the increasing gas and the pollutants in the gas is removed inside the slurry due to the reaction with the slurry. The plaster made at the adsorption tower is transferred to the hydroclone and it turns into the plaster slurry which has the 40 to 50 percent of solid by being dehydrated. The plaster slurry which is once dehydrated is sent to the splitter box and being transferred to the vacuum bell filter to be dehydrated again. The plaster product which has been dehydrated at below 10% goes into the plaster storage place by the belt conveyor.